My name is Jessica Corey, and I currently work in the beauty industry in New York City. I work for uh, limited brands, and I support Victoria's Secret Beauty and Bath and Body Works. I actually attended uh, Presumpscot Elementary School, and from there I went to Lyman Moore Middle School. And for high school, I attended both um, past Portland Arts and Technology High School as well as Portland High School. During my junior year, I actually was in a journalism class at Portland High School, and every article I would write about was fashion. My teacher at the time was like, you know, I feel like you really are into fashion. There's a class at Pass that you can take, and it's pretty much what you want to do, so why don't you uh, sign up for it your senior year? So I felt like coming here would just really could let my creativity flow and really get to learn more about the industry. My friend and I, we did a project, a civic consciousness project, where we designed t-shirts that actually uh, funded at the Cancer Community Center in South Portland. And through that, we really learned about the product development process, and we really got to help people out for a charitable cause. And we actually won the state finals, and we got were able to go on to Dallas, Texas for a few days and compete there and kind of see things more at a higher level and really learn about marketing and how that can even pertain to fashion. And another great thing that we did in class was we actually designed handbags that were manufactured and sold in the old port. And right here, this is our prototype. Um, Kelly stitched this prototype. We couldn't fit, we, the lace stands for the fur and the uh, metal stands for the D rings, yeah. the square rings on our bag. And it was a very long process, but it was very rewarding to know that this is what our final product turned out as. It was awesome just to see our bags when they came out. We, lastly, we actually had a fashion show. Jessica is wearing a beige and black polka dotted linen dress with a matching belt. How cute is that? We all got to design our own pieces based off of vintage fabrics and dresses and take everything and kind of put it together into our own personal style. And a teacher who really influenced me when I was attending PASS was Jane Krasno, our fashion merchandising uh, instructor. She really gave us real world experience. She really wanted us to think about career paths that pertain to fashion and she is a great, inspiring and amazing woman and I'm so lucky to know her. After high school, I got accepted to the Fashion Institute of Technology in New York City. There, I majored in fashion merchandising management. I entered at Cynthia Rose, New York. She is a small luxury designer. Wanting to gain more experience, I worked for Simple Silhouettes. It's the first modern bridesmaid dress company. So after college, I actually took uh, a job with Macy's Merchandising Group. I was a jewelry product assistant for Alfani Private Label. In my current role as a research and development lab coordinator, I'm learning the technical side of product development. This is our Victoria's Secret Fantasies. Uh, what we do is we put it at various temperatures, which is called stability. We put this for two, six, and eight weeks. It's pretty much make sure that it looks nice on the shelf and that it still smells nice. I'm in the process right now of applying to my master's, and I feel like that will get me to that next level where I can become a product developer, where I can develop my olfactive skills and learn more about global beauty as a whole because I feel like so many different cultures think of beauty in so many different ways and I just want to get myself to that next level and hopefully someday be a VP of some great beauty company.